nation's capital tonight for CEA's 2015 CES on the Hill, where more than 25 technology companies, including 10 startups, are showcasing their latest innovations to more than 500 attendees, including key members of Congress, policy leaders, and top DC media. The event brings the excitement of the International CES to Capitol Hill, highlighting innovations in 3D printing, 4K Ultra HD, apps, and so much more. Members of Congress have no access to these kind of innovative ideas, and ultimately disruption through innovation is something that members need to see, and CEA has brought it to the Hill today. Pinshape is a marketplace and community for 3D printable models, and we make it really easy for customers to find and print models easily on our platform. At Google, we're demoing the Cultural Institute platform today. It showcased the digitized art collections of a lot of organizations and museums throughout the world in a way that's easily accessible online. What we do is that we program the flight plan of the drone with the software, and then it flies automatically collect automatically pictures in flight and then all those pictures they are merged together to create very accurate 2D and 3D maps. OLED 4K Ultra HD perfect blacks this amazing contrast ratio and brilliant colors energy efficiency and 8 million pixels on the screen it's really the ultimate viewing experience. So Nox is our platform security that we build in at time of manufacture, so that you're getting that security all the way from the chipset hardware layer all the way up through the application layer. And you can even have a separate container, so you have a workspace and a play space, so that all of your fun personal apps are interfering with all of your enterprise-grade security. I'd like to say a college degree is the most a mobile application that exists in the world today. Uh, we provide the tools to make that possible. Simply put, we enable employers to provide 529 college savings plans as a benefit to their employees, just like a 401k or health savings account. 1776 is a global incubator and seed fund for startups that are tackling challenges that impact our lives. Many of them are disrupting government industries, but that doesn't mean that they don't need kind of the help and the guidance of, of the folks that, that really end up making the rules. Policy leaders were able to see and interact with the products and technologies at the center of some of the most critical current technology policy debates. I got a call from a lawyer in Texas saying that I was being sued for patent infringement. The cost to defend myself in this case would be about three million dollars and take three years. Ninety-seven percent of the people when hit with a lawsuit like this, no matter how ridiculous the patent, if they can give the person that's suing them $50,000 or pay up to $3 million to defend themselves, they'll just turn over the $50,000. And it's not just the money, it's the time and energy that's taken away from creating goods or services to defend myself against a company that creates no goods or services. There was a patent troll in our space trying to go after any company that had a meal builder of any type. We were very lucky that Bravo and these other companies fought all the way through until they were able to overturn the patent. So our business has actually boomed ever since the troll went away. New clients are signing on and we're having a, a great time since. CES on the Hill brings to a close an exciting week of CEA events here in DC, including last night's Digital Patriots Dinner and Lobby Day, where CEA members advocated for pro-innovation policies on Capitol Hill. I think there's great value for them to hear from us, from business owners, from small business owners, from association members, uh, people who live this every day. They seem to be understanding, uh, at the very least, patent reform. Uh, they seem to agree that it's a problem. They seem to see, see it as extortion, as it is to most of us in CEA field. Well, the future of innovation is certainly here tonight at CES on the Hill. From the latest drones and 3D printers to next generation wearables and gaming technologies. For more information about the event, visit our website and be sure to check out CEA's YouTube page for more videos like this one.